any sports. It's in the game. Welcome to my playthrough of NCAA Football 2003, EA Sports. It's in the game! EA Sports! <laughs> it's in the game! NCAA Football 2003. Yeah, guys, this is one of my favorites. NCAA Football 2003, I spent a lot of time playing this game back on the PS2. In my junior high, in my junior high days. And plus, like I said, this is the game that got me started in college football. I mean, no other game like it. Alrighty, so anyway, you got your play now, which is your exhibitions. And plus the game modes, got your season, dynasty, rivalry, mascot game. That means you could play as the mascots and plus practice. Got options, create a school, create a player, roster, settings, load and save, and my NCAA. Got trophy room, pendant collection, campus challenge, stat records, my playbooks, and my settings, and plus inside EA Sports. So, anyway, I'll be showing off my trophies first before we get to the teams. First off with my Dynasty trophies here. And of course, the next championship always goes to the good old Oregon Ducks. And... There's a, and there's a victory over Ohio State in that game by three. I, and, and plus, I, I believe it's on my YouTube channel. Yeah, it is. I just checked it. So, yeah, yeah it's on there. And plus, the Orange Bowl. I was Florida State uh, beating Virginia Tech by three in that game. And plus, I was... A, plus, the Rose Bowl, I was a, the Ohio State Buckeyes beating Oregon State by three. And there's the ACC Championship. I gave that one to the Florida State Seminoles. Then Ohio State for the Big Ten. Then the Texas Longhorns for the Big 12. Then the Big East was Miami Hurricanes. And the Pac-10 always goes to the Ducks. And the SEC Championship goes to the Florida Gators. Conference USA Championship, Louisville Cardinals. MAC Championship, Marshall Thundering Herd. Mount West Championship, the BYU Cougars. And the Sun Belt Championship go, go to the Mid-Tennessee State Blue Raiders. And the WAC Championship goes to the Boise State Broncos. Then there's the... 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 Hum, the Human... Terranian Bowl. Sorry, I can't pronounce that right. But yeah, I beat Boise... But yeah, it's Boise State. I beat DCU by a whomp and a 31 and nothing. Then the New Orleans Bowl, that was Mid-Tennessee State. And I beat Kansas State by three touchdowns. Get that one. And then... Coach of the Year for Boise State. And then the Quarterback of the Year for, for, for Florida State, Grossman. And here's my Robert trophies. There's the Paul Bunny Max. I was Wisconsin. I beat Minnesota by 10. There's this... S s s s s s s sorry. The uh, s Stanford Max. I was, I was Cardinal being Cal by 24-3. There's the Apple Cup, I was Washington beat Washington State 35 to 6. Commonwealth Cup, I was Virginia Tech beating Virginia 24 to 7. There's a Golden Boot, I was LSU beating Arkansas 31 to 14. Golden Egg, I uh, really put hurt on Mississippi State, I was Ole Miss 23 to 3. Then the Old Oaken Bucket, I was Purdue beating Indiana by 11. Uh, 24 to 13. Then the Victory Bell, I was UCLA beating USC 21 to 12. Then the little brown jug, I was Michigan beating Minnesota 20 to 7. And there's a megaphone, I was no name beating, beating Michigan State by two touchdowns, 21 to 7. Then the and my and my staff, I, I, I hope I pronounced that right. And my staff by you bucket. I was uh, Bryce beating Houston 28 to 10. It was a marching drum, I was Missouri beating Kansas by three touchdowns, 20 to 7. There's the old 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 brass. Sorry. Spit tune. I was Michigan State beating Indiana, Indiana 31 10. The, the, the Territorial Cup made in Arizona. And plus, I was Arizona beating Arizona State 20 to nothing. Then the Silver Spade. I was UTEP beating New Mexico State by 10, 17 to 7. Then the Sci Hawk Trophy. I was Iowa beating Iowa State by a touchdown at 20 to 21. Then the Sweet Sioux Tomahawk. I hope I pronounced that right. 
and I was Illinois beating Northwestern 21-3. The Ireland Trophy, I was Notre Dame beating Boston College 35-14. There's a golden hat, I was Oklahoma, no, no wait, no, I was Texas beating Oklahoma 28-18 in the Red, Red River Shootout. And then Jules Shillelagh, I was Notre Dame beating USC by, I mean, I was Notre Dame beating USC by two touchdowns, 21-7. And there's Victor Bell, I was 6 and beating, beating, beating Miami Ohio by 3, 24-21. That one was a 2 Can't go back and forth in that one. I'm, I'm glad I edged it out. And there's a Black Diamond Trophy, I was Virginia Tech beating West Virginia by whopping 42-3. And then there's Governor's Victory Bell, I was Penn State whopping Minnesota 42-7. So, there's the trophies right there. And, and plus the pennant collections, I'll, yeah, those you get to, you actually earn. So, if you haven't got them all, so, hey, it, but hey, what counts? Yeah, there's mascot teams, I'll be showing off that one later, plus them, that, and plus here's the game sheet. It's got first and five, that means this gives you a first and five, and then a first and ten for one game, then the first 15 for your opponent. There's blink, this pendant causes the ref to sp sp spot the ball short for your opponent. <laughs> There's Boing. This pendant increases your opponent's chances of dropping passes. Ah. And there's Breaks. This pendant helps you punt the ball deep into your opponent's territory. Then there's Butterfingers. This pendant increases your opponent's chances of fumbling for one game. That's, that's what I say about Butterfingers, that they lost the ball. <laughs> there's Cross the Line. This pendant allows your QB to throw the ball past the line of scrimmage. There's Cuff. This pennant prevents your team from fumbling or throwing interceptions. This pennant increases your team's ability to, to break tackles for one game. These are extra credit. This pennant gives your team four points for each interception and, and three for each sack. Huh. <laughs> Helium. This pennant improves your team's ability to catch the ball for one game. Hurricane. This pennant improves your your team's pass rush or on, on defense for one game and it's a replay. This kind of gives your team five downs in, in, in well then then a four to, to make it a first down and jump a lot. This pennant adds points to your score when your player is injured. Then kicker Hicks. <laughs> this pennant causes the win to be in your favor on 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 field goals. <laughs> then Molasses, this penny increases your opponent's fatigue factor for one game. And pitch it, this penny causes your opponent to fumble every time they 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 uh, they try to juke. <laughs> Protection, this uh, uh, this penny improves your team's pass blocking on, on offense for one game. Then QB dud, this penny causes your opponent's passes to to, to be high and and wobbly. And QB Rocket, this pennant increases your QB's passing range for one game. And Speedy, this pennant increases your wide receiver's chance of uh, of burning his man deep. And s s s s well, where you see it, this pennant increases your kicker's kicking range for one game. Then sh shift. I think I how to pronounce that. <laughs> This pennant doubles your opponent's penalty yardage for one game. And Super Bullet, this pennant improves your QB's passing accuracy for one game. Super Dive, this pennant increases your team's ability to, to dive for one game. And Take Your Time, this pennant gives your team a limited timeouts for one game. That'd be nice. <laughs> Thread the Needle, this pennant narrows the, the uprights when, when your opponent tries for a field goal. Tough as nails. This pen makes your QB almost impossible to sack for one game. <laughs> Trip. This pen increases your DB's chance of uh, juggling his his man and jamming his man at the line. Want a tip? This pen increases your team's chances of intercepting a pass. What a hit! This pen increases your opponent's chances of uh, of of getting injured. And that's it on that. Yeah, sorry guys about the STs, sorry the S's, I'm just bad at them. Okay, let's check out the teams.
Alrighty, we got Air Force, Akron, Alabama, Alabama A&M, Alabama State, Elkhorn State, or yeah, Arizona, Arizona State, Arkansas Pine Bluff, Arkansas, Arkansas State, Army, number 25 Auburn, Ball State, Baylor, Bethany Cookman, Boise State, Boston College, Bowling Green, Brown, Buffalo, BYU, Cal, Central Michigan, Cincinnati, Clemson, number nine, ninth ranked Colorado, Colorado State, Columbia, Cornell, Dartmouth, Delaware State, Duke, Eastern Michigan, ECU, number six ranked Florida, Florida A&M, number fifth ranked Florida State, Fresno State, number 13th ranked Georgia, Georgia Tech, Grambling State, Hampton, Harvard, Hawaii, Houston, Howard, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Iowa State, Jackson State, Kansas, Kansas State, Kent State, Kentucky, Louisiana Tech, number 16th ranked U, number 16th ranked Louisville, number 15th ranked LSU, number 17th ranked Marshall. <laughs> they're on a, they're kind of all in a row there. <laughs> number 20, 21 ranked Maryland, Memphis, number one ranked Miami, Miami Ohio, number 19th ranked Michigan. Number number 24th ranked Michigan State, Mid Mid Tennessee State, Minnesota, Mississippi Valley State, Mississippi State, Missouri, Morgan State, North Carolina A and T, Navy, North NC State, number 10th ranked Nebraska, Nevada, New Mexico, New Mexico State, North North Fort. State, North Carolina, North Texas, Northern Illinois, Northwestern, Notre Dame, Ohio, number 12th ranked Ohio State, number 3rd ranked Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, number, number 23rd ranked Ole Miss, number 8th ranked Oregon Ducks, Oregon State, Pennsylvania, Penn State, number 18th ranked, Pittsburgh, Perry View AM, Princeton, Purdue, Rice, Rutgers, South Carolina State, San Diego State, San Jose State, SMNU, number 20th ranked, South Carolina, Southern, Southern Miss, Mississippi, Stanford, Syracuse, TCU, Texas Christian, Temple, number, number fourth ranked Tennessee, number two ranked Texas, number twenty two ranked Texas A&M, Texas Southern, Texas Tech, Toledo, Troy State, Tulane, Tulsa, the, the uh, University of Alabama Birmingham, the University of Central Florida, the, the University of California Los Angeles. Yukon, UL Lafayette, UL Monroe, the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, USC, USF, Utah, Utah State, UTEP, Vanderbilt, Virginia, number 14th ranked Virginia Tech, Wake Forest, number 11th ranked Washington, number 7th ranked Washington State, West Virginia, Western Michigan, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. And plus, here's the, oh, and Yale. I was talking about Yale. <laughs> okay, and plus, here's all-time teams called all Alabama, all Florida, all FSU, all Georgia, all Miami, all Michigan, all Nebraska, all Notre Dame, all Ohio State, all Oklahoma, all Penn State, all Pittsburgh, all Tennessee, all UCLA, all USC, then, then, then there's all Americans, the 01 All Americans, the 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 the, the 2000 All Americans, 
1999 All Americans, 98 All Americans, 97 All Americans, 96 All Americans, 95 All Americans, 94 All Americans, 93 All Americans, and then 92 All Americans, and 91 All Americans. And plus, here's the mascots from each team: We've got Albert, Ubby, Benny Beaver, Blue Devil, Cam the Ram, Cardinal Bird, Hook'em. Sparty, the the Deacon, the Tiger, Wilbur Wilbur Wildcat, Wally Wildcat, and that's it. So, <laughs> which I'm sure there is more. So, so let's go on to so let's go on with the first game. We're in the Golden Gate State for this game being played here in Pasadena, California. And I hope these fans are as bundled up as I am for today's matchup between the Oregon Ducks and the Bruins of UCLA. And here come the Bruins. Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football, the Bruins. Don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brian. UCLA is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important that they shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. I was just about to say that, but forget about it. UCLA does not have the talent up front defensively to stop the running game. Kirk, the only way they have a chance to win this game is to force turnovers. Even then, I don't think it's going to be enough for them to win. Thanks, Kirk and Lee. Well, the team captains look like they're ready for the coin toss, so we'll send it down to the field. Yeah, guys, this game where Oregon survived on a field goal, a, a, a missed field goal by, uh, by uh, UCLA. So, and plus, this was their closest win out of all, all this of this 2001, I mean, 2002 season. So, so yeah, that's why I'm playing this. Oregon is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Let's see if we can re rewrite history here. Six, it in all right, put the end zone. Yeah, plus on the Oregon players, I have got all their right names from the roster, so yeah. Who you see, who played for Oregon during this time. The Ducks. Use a four-man front. I'll be doing it. Uh, I'll be doing this from 2003 and on. So. Number 27 hits it on the inside, and he's taken down at the 24. They got four yards on that one. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 24. Two tight ends here. Number 10, options out. Oh, I got, got the first down. At the 33 yard line. And a good play there. Here they give it to the fullback on the option, and the big guy gets good yard. Yep, good yardage and a first down. It's first and 10, ball on the 33 yard line. Oregon comes out in a 4 3. Number 10 gets it up the middle, and he's tackled at the 35. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 35. High formation here. Number 10 gets it up the middle. Nice spin move. And he's hey, taken down at the 35-yard line. Nothing gained on the play. Hey, yeah, guys, I forgot to show the, the uh, fields. So, well, in the intro and all stuff while well, I was showing the team, so I'll show you that after this game. So, no worries. It's third down and eight to go. Because I got some bowl games I want to show you, too, where they're held at. So, during, during this time. LA comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He's looking. That's all the time in the world. Pressure. Got him, They'll finally. He went down hard there, coach. Yeah, they're putting a licking on that poor kid. 
Yep, held him. It's fourth down at 14. So hopefully up now. So, so hopefully now this game doesn't go in overtime. <laughs> like it was in the last, well, I mean, the uh, last game, all my first game went overtime. I just hope that this one doesn't result in the same. Oh, no. Dig it. Oh, man. You just couldn't pull that one in quick. And that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. Right. They'll start this drive at the 37. I'm glad there was nobody on me, or, the, or actually, that had been a turnover. The ball carrier. He's hit and got away. That's still going. Oh. Number 17. Down at midfield. How about that run by this halfback? You know what? When this offense can run the ball like this, watch out. They can score quickly. Watch out is right because now you got to worry about the run and the pass on defense. This is what power football is all about. You got to be able to run between the tackles. First and 10. Ball on the 50. Smith lines up as a single back. Number 12 drops back. He's under pressure. Oh, got it. Number 81 has it. Number 24 with a takedown at the 46. You see, uh, nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there, and that ball was thrown in the right spot. As a coach, right. you got to be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. The Ducks come out short three wide. Hand off up the middle. Number 17 brings him down at the 45-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. I get the ball in the hands of my go-to receiver here and let him get the first down. UCLA lines up defensively to 4-3. Number 12 steps back to pass. Look. Oh, Should crap. I didn't see him coming. A big play by the defense right Happens. there. Well, that's a great individual effort there. He just bull rushed and went right through the line. Rare combination of power and speed by the defense. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Good punt. Number nine takes from the ten. A good return. They'll take over at the 22. Oregon comes out in a 4-3. Number 27 gets it on the counter, and they make the stop at the 28-yard line. They pick up a good six yards there. Second and four coming up here. Ball on their own 28. UCLA lines up with three receivers. He drops back. He's in trouble. Looking. And that one's fallen incomplete. I think he was feeling a lot of pressure there, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what. He's lucky he got rid of that ball when he did, because they were coming. Third and four. Ball of the Another 28. third down. The Bruins line up in an eye formation. Number 10, back to throw. Going deep. Uh, he won't get there in time. Nope. Incomplete. Good. The line receiver was open, too. <laughs> And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired. Held him again. Fourth and four coming up on this play. Ball on the 28-yard line. Smith awaiting the return. Now don't muff it this time, Smith. Okay. Smith fields it at the 35. To the 40. A pretty, a pretty good one there. Sensational punt return. Yeah, Brad, he got some really good blocks downfield and busted through. I like throwing a ball here. It makes the defense think they have to stop the run and or the pass. Right. They'll go to work at the 35-yard line. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. Number 12 drops the throw. He's looking. Oh, man. Shoot. That was a dangerous Yeah, it was. Throw. Oh, not a very good decision. He's got to either throw this one away or take a sack. You don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach that that had been an interception. On the ground, up the middle. He did and got away, and down he goes at the 32. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. I chucked the ball up here in this situation. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 32. The Bruins line up at a nickel back. Number 12 drops back to pass. He got it. Oh, man, shoot. Number 17 bats it down. Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a Okay, I'm chugging it leg in this one. Field goal here.
Oh, that's not going to make it. The kick is up. That's too short. Yeah, we'll plus have been off. Good. It lands short. We'll, we'll, we'll plus have is kind of off, off, off t t distance, too. All right, first and ten. Ball in the 32. Oregon lines up defensively in the 4-3. Tackle at the 33-yard line. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. Right. Second and nine coming up here. Ball in the 33. UCLA lines up for the shotgun set. Number 10, hands off on the delay. Brought down at the 34. A one-yard gain on the play. Okay, they'll be in the first quarter. And that's the end of the first quarter, folks. No score after one. We are ready to start. I'll get something. <laughs> first. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. 4-3 defense. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on. There you go. They make the stop at the 37-yard line. She almost got it. Bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. They come out in a punt formation. Don't muff it. Smith fields at the 29. He really didn't have any room to work on that one. Yeah, but his blockers have to do a better job of helping him out. They didn't hold the coverage team at bay. They just let him right through. They'll get the ball here at the 28-yard line. Smith is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Number 22 with a takedown at the 33. They get about five yards from the halfback. I'd run it down to the folks here. Nothing too special. Two tight ends here. They hand it off. They'll throw oh, the flag. Ball. Holding. Yeah. Line. Holding. Holding. Only on the offense. That's a bunch of yards to go for a first down there. I just throw the ball down the field. And maybe you'll get lucky. Smith lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Drops back to pass. Looks. He's going long. Got it. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Yeah, nice catch, and he shows off a few moves there. Yeah, the big fella's pretty athletic for a tight end, and as a quarterback, it's always nice to have a big target like this to go to. As a coach, you love mismatches. In this case, if the slot guy's covered by the linebacker, you may have a nice play. UCLA comes out in a 4-3. Smith on the give. He's at the 40. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. First down. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this oh, week? A thousand times. And it was just as successful then as it is right now. First and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Under Crap. I, I seen it coming. And that'll get this defense fired up. The offensive lineman had his feet too close together. As an offensive right. lineman, you got to spread your feet and have a nice base. UCLA lines up defensively in a 3-4. Back to pass. Looking, rolling out to the left side. Throws it deep down. Got it. Number nine. How are we got it? At the 14-yard line. Good catch, and can this guy fly or what? I couldn't agree with you more. This kid's got to be one of the fastest guys that we've had the privilege of seeing all year. And here's another look at that pass, Kirk. Boy, Brad, what a great throw by the quarterback. I mean, this guy doesn't mess around. He sees his target wide open, gets in the ball quickly. Look at the velocity on that throw. Red zone play is crucial to winning and losing. As a coach, I'm concerned about not turning the ball over here because that means taking points off the board. Number 22 with a takedown at the 8. A gain of 6. When you're this close to scoring the touchdowns, I'm telling my guys the whole lot to the football. That's so right. <laughs> Oregon sets up in the eye. Smith on the inside handoff. First down. 43 brings him down at the 4-yard line. The halfback runs I know for 4 yards. No need for any trickery here. Just run the ball and pick up the first down. 
Smith is a deep back as they line up in the eye. And touchdown. touchdown. First. And that was a nice touchdown run first. by the fullback. Well, I hit it first. Got the points on the board. We'll say, well, the first one gets points on the board. And it's right next to the organ crowd there. <laughs> well, the organ section. And he hits the PAT. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, Oregon, seven, UCLA, nothing. Oregon, the kick. Kicks it off. Good kick. But it'll be a touchback. Number yep. six, fields it in the end zone. Right, they'll start this drive at the 20. Oregon lines up defensively at 4-3. A little juke. Graham with a takedown at the 20-yard line. Didn't get anything. All right, it's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. The Bruins line up with two tight ends. Number 94 tackles him for a loss on the play. Lost. Here the tailback had really nowhere to go. The defense does a good job of getting penetration, and they were able to wrap him up for a loss. Right. They're down at 10 coming up. Ball on the 20-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. Hand off up the middle. Mark brings him down at the 24-yard line. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. It's fourth down. The whole game. <laughs> Haven't got to... Uh, you say it hasn't... To this one away. Hasn't got towards the red zone yet. That's okay. What's your time? I got playing time. No, no Muffet. Smith fields it at the 39. Nowhere to go there. Nowhere is right. He's lucky he got the yards and he did. Yeah, excellent job getting downfield and making the tackle by the coverage team. They'll take over at the 39 yard line. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. He's looking. Rolls to the left. Got it. Touchdown, Ducks. Oh, what a quick catch and play. Deep on that one, my oh. you what, my friend? Plus. That quarterback has a yeah. killer instinct. You saw a hole in the defense and immediately he attacked it. That didn't take long either. Once a Howard got it, he was gone. Well, well, well I'm up by two touchdowns in the first half. What do you know? And he tacks on the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Oregon 14, UCLA nothing. Oregon lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it deep. I should stop doing that. Well, at least he took it out, but it won't get much. They'll go to work at the 24-yard line. Oregon comes out in a 4-3. They hand it off. He's out to the 30. Lewis with a takedown at the 34. UCLA calls the timeout, and they've got two remaining. It's first and ten, ball on their own 34. The Ducks use a four-man front here. Number ten drops back. He throws it. Complete, got it. And down he goes at the 42. The Bruins call for a timeout. That was their second timeout. Keep burning your timeouts. Second and two, ball on the 42-yard line. He won't score. Defense lines up in a 
Number 10, steps back to pass. Rolls to the right. Nice job there, getting to the quarterback. Yeah, that's an excellent play by the defensive end to come through there and wrap him up for a loss. And also give credit to the guy coming on the blitz. Number 10, back to pass. Looks under heavy pressure. Nope. And they couldn't hook up on that one. What happened? That drop really hurts, guys. Yeah, that's a tough break. You just can't drop passes, especially on third down. Now it's fourth down and two yards to go. Ball on the 42. Smith back to return it. Flag on the play. Uh oh. Offsides on somebody. Smith fields it at the 24. Oh, holding. Holding. Only on the offense. It's kind of early, wasn't it? I thought it was offsides. Nope. You gotta execute in this long yardage situation. Just take the snap and wing it in there. First and ten. Ball on their own 31. The Bruins bring in their dive package. Looking. He steps up. He lets it go. And it's gone. Got it. Oh my gosh. At the 36. Oregon takes a timeout and they'll have two runs. Honey, catch that coverage. I like throwing a ball here. It makes the defense think you have to stop the run and or the pass. It's first and ten, ball on the 36. Oregon in a five-wide set. He's looking. He rolls left. Got it. And he's tackled at the one. The offense calls a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. Uh, why, why not let's hit it in the end zone? Why not? I'm at the one. That was close to a touchdown. Well, we thought we were going to see the field goal attempt, but they're lining up to go for it. And I got it. And that's the second rushing touchdown. So up by three touchdowns already. The offensive coaches had a game plan for this guy, and it's worked very well. <laughs> Let's take another look at that run. That was quick again. Uh, I'm, I'm smelling a blowout here. <laughs> oh, man. In case the Bruins come back all of a sudden. And he hits the PAT. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Oregon, 21, UCLA, nothing. UCLA will be kicking off to start the second half. And they'll be returning this one. Smith fields it in the end zone. I'd sell the pass here, and then I'd hand it off to my halfback. They'll get the ball here at the 21-yard line. Oh, he's gone. Smith lines up as a single back. He's out to the 30, to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds at the 49. Tremendous run right there. No kidding. The coaches just love it when they can run the ball like that. It opens up so much of your offense. You gotta go out there and compete. Be a competitor. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. UCLA lines up defensively in a 4 3. Number 12 tosses to the side. And he's taken down at the 48. A one yard gain by the halfback. This is what power football is all about. You gotta be able to run between the tackles. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 48 yard line. UCLA comes out of a 4 3. Great one. Number nine brings him down for a loss, and that was not a good call offensively. Nah, not a good call, only because they lost yardage. I'll tell you, I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee, you can never tell. UCLA brings in the nickel here, looks, he fires left side. Oh, he had and he dropped it. And that was a missed opportunity. No question there, he needs to make that catch there, because now they're looking at fourth down. It's a problem I'm up by a three touchdown. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 38 hunts it, and it's a good one. Number nine signals for a fair catch. Wow. And they'll down it at the three. Nice. Nice punt. And 
and they've got their work cut out for them on this drive. UCLA will line up in a jumbo set here. Little handoff, spins up field. Wright brings him down at the five. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the five-yard line. They're in the shadow of their own goalpost. Oregon lines up defensively in a 4-3. He drops back. Looking. Here comes the pressure. He lets it go deep down. Oh, he had it. He dropped it. Complete pass. <laughs> That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was, and it was a catchable ball. Throw right at him. He just didn't catch it. Third and eight, ball on the five-yard line. Number ten with three wide receivers. Number ten drops to throw. He guns it to the left. Intercepted. Pick six. Just like that. Touchdown. Dixon got it. Decision there. Why do you even throw that thing? It's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. This quarterback is a hero. He comes to play every game. on the extra point. So with just over three minutes remaining in the third quarter, our score, Oregon, 28. UCLA, nothing. Oregon is ready to kick it away. He puts it deep downfield. Take it 29, deep. fields it in the end zone. Start this drive at the 20. So, you, so you say this game's fair, guys, huh? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm just having a good game against UCLA. And plus, this game will not go to overtime. I'll, I'll actually tell you that. And he's tackled at the 22 yard line. A two yard run by the halfback. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 22 yard line. Number 27, alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. He's looking for his man. And it's incomplete. Too long. He just couldn't get to that one. Well, he looked to be a little excited back there in the pocket. May have rushed things a little bit. Needs to be a little bit more patient. Step up and make the throw. Right, it's third down and eight to go. Ball on their own 22. Oregon comes out in a 4-3. Back to pass. He fires right. Wide open. Hangs on to it. Oh, he's gone. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And and he's hey, that should be flag. He was taunting. <laughs> what a catch and a big touchdown. So at least this will be a shutout. He is a big-time football player. He might like to talk a little bit out there on the field. He has the type of game to back it up. Should have had him there. See, now watch his taunting. See right there. <laughs> that should be a uh, flag. <laughs> but they were as, but they weren't as strong on it as as they are now. Right. Eh, make them feel good. <laughs> and he hits the PAT. The kick, Webster and Smith back ready to return. Kicks it off. Smith fields it in the end zone. A team that can run the ball has the best chance of winning. So I try to establish the run here. They'll take over at the 18. They line up in an eye. They get out there on the top. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. They pick up a good six yards there. Whoa, I like this play. 
Now you get the fullback into the passing game, and the defense has really got their hands full. The fullback is moving around a passing game. The line. They use four linebackers. Number 12 drops back to pass. He's looking. He lost this one over the middle. Oh, he had and dropped it. Complete. Shoot. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. I tell my quarterback to make sure that the receiver is beyond the first down marker. And it's a clear path to the first down marker. It's third down and four to go. Ball on 24. Number 12. It's five receivers lined up here. No oh, crap. Number 43. Oh, plus I he was open to the guys with the defense throw it to you. That That's right. Well, I Oops. wouldn't try anything dumb here. You got to Wrong play, play. sorry. Position game. The Ducks are going to take a timeout. I was going to fake it. <laughs> Plus, I don't want to do that. Ball of the 14. Press all button, it happens. They send out the punting unit. Number 38 hunts it, and it's a good one. Number 9 falls for the fair Better. Catch. He hauls it in at the 40. They'll go to work at the 40-yard line. Four-man front by the defense. Number 10 gets out the middle, and he's going to lose yards on this one. And they'll lose a yard there. Second and 11 coming up, all on their own 39. UCLA sets up in the eye. Takes off a tackle. Tackle at the 43. About four yards on that play. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Four-man front by the defense. Number 10, back to throw. Steps up, looks, rifles this one out to the left. Oh, got it. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. First and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. UCLA lines up with three receivers. Number 10 gives up the middle. Oh, I had him. There we go. Nixon tackles him for a loss on the play. Nowhere to go on that play, Coach. Boy, you're absolutely right, Brad. This is a great job by the defense in not giving him any room to create anything. He drops back, lets it go, and it falls incomplete. Underthrown intended for the wideout. Third and 11, ball on the 45. UCLA goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. He's under pressure. Let's it fly. Oh, he got it. Brought down at the 21 yard line. A good play to the tight end that time. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw in practice the other day over and over again. As a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off and your players execute in the game like they did all week in practice. Good job. It's first and 10, ball on the 21. Oregon lines up defensively in a 3 4. He's not going anywhere. 44 brings him down for a loss. That's a designed quarterback run. Here the defense does a great job of getting penetration and tackling him for a loss. It's second down and 11 to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Three man front defensively. Only just one yard. Okay, good high game. Number 10 gets up the middle. Webster with a takedown at the 16. That's a nice six yard game. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, Oregon 28, UCLA 7. And we're ready for the start of the fourth quarter. Third and five coming up. This is the ninth play of this drive. Defense lines up, eight men in the box. Number 10 drops back. Throws it out there, incomplete. Not enough. It looks like he overthrew him on that one. I'll tell you, I think the quarterback got rid of that one too quickly, Kirk. Uh, Coach, you're right. They need to work on their yeah. timing a little bit more. Fourth yep. Down at five. They're going for 16. it. They have to. Defense lines up. Eight men in the box. We're hot. We're hot. Number 10, back to pass. He unloads it. Yeah, he didn't get it. Tips it away. Held them. For it, but they were denied. Well, that was a situation where they had to go for it. I agree. They can't afford to let the other team hold on to the ball. The time is ticking away. 
As a quarterback, you got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. They'll get the ball here at the 16. They come out with four linebackers. Number 12 drops the throw. He's in trouble. Oh, shoot, yeah, I was. Comes Dang it. Away with a sack. That makes four sacks today. This defensive front is tough, and they're really, I mean, really fast, too. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. Back to pass. Under pressure. Looking. He goes downtown. Oh, intercepted. Crap. What an interception by the quarterback. This guy needs to be playing both sides of the ball. He can catch the ball better than some. Well, was tense. I'm surprised he didn't go the other way because he would have scored if he went the other way. It's okay. First and ten. No problem. Twenty-nine. I'm not in panic mode yet because I'm ahead by three touchdowns. So I think I pick up Number 10, this game put receivers. away. Number ten drops back to pass. He's looking. And I got him. Get the sack. That was he me. Avoid the sack there, <laughs> hey, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 32-yard line. Oregon comes out in a 3-4. And off up the middle. And down he goes. That was me again. At the 32. <laughs> Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 32-yard line. Three wideouts here. Number 10. Back to throw. He passes it. Number one. Well, you didn't get the first down, though, but it's close enough. There. Not at all. And if this wideout can continue to make plays like this, allowing them to spread the ball around, this offense is going to be tough to stop. Right. It's fourth down, a yard to go. Ball on the 20 yard line. I'm prepared if they're going to throw it because you just never know. The Ducks come out of the 34 defense. Oh, flag. Number 44 brings him down at the 11 yard line. Only on the offense. Fourth down, eight yards to go. They're in field goal range. The Ducks line up in a 3 4. He drops back, looks under heavy pressure. Swat away. They hold on fourth down. Now that's how you get a team motivated. I wouldn't be surprised to see their offense take the field with an explosive power attack. The Bruins use a four-man front here. Jets a tackler. Still going. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. How about the job of this offensive line, guys? Boy, the hog mollies up front are demoralizing the defense. It's tough when you're tired. You're losing. You're being dominated physically. I don't know how long they can keep this up. UCLA lines up defensively in a 4-3. Tackle at the 40-yard line. And not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Three-man front defensively. On the ground, up the middle. Number 42 with a takedown at the 43. Short little game there, just trying to keep that clock running. Keep that clock running and keep that other offense off the field. Is the deep back as they line up in the eye. There's a the play fake. Throws it deep downfield. Oh, I didn't get it. Knocked down. That one could have been an interception. Well, I wouldn't try anything dumb here. You got to play field position game. The Ducks line up the foot. Number 38 punts in, and it's a good one. Number 9 takes it to 12. He almost broke it there. Like you said, Coach, one more block, and that could have been six. Are you kidding me? He's all over him. They'll start this drive at the 27. Number 10 has four receivers lined up here. Run, 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 
Number 10 drops back. Fires a bullet out to the right. Complete. And down he goes at the 37-yard line. And a nice catch by the wideout that time. Number 10, back to pass. Looking. He throws it. Incomplete pass. Can he just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's third and inches. Ball on their own 37. The Bruins line up with four wideouts. Number 10 steps back to pass. He lets it go. And it's knocked away. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Fourth and inches coming up here. Ball on the 37. Oregon comes out in a 3-4. Got it. Makes the catch. First down. Can you believe it? Brad, I can't. That was an incredible pass and catch. I'm still catching my breath. <laughs> Drops back to pass. Rifles it over the middle, and they couldn't hook up on that one. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Bruins come out showing three wide. Number 10 drops back to pass. Graham comes away with a sack. What do we have, Lee? We have sack number four today. This defense came to play, and I love it. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Dixon it. knocks it away. And the corner got in there and broke that one up. Just a minute remains in this football game. The Ducks line up at a 3-4. Number 10 drops to throw. Let's it go. And got it again. Dixon brings him down at the 29-yard line. The Bruins call for a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. It's first and 10. Ninth play of this drive coming up. The Ducks come out in a 34 defense. Back to pass. He's looking. Let's it fly. Swatted away. Nice job knocking that one down. You're right. Good job there on the coverage. That's just what they teach you to do. That's right. Second and ten. Tenth play of this drive coming up. Oregon going with a three-man front. Number ten. Back to throw. Throws it out there. Complete. I got it. He's at the 20. And they make the stop at the 20. UCLA calls a timeout. And they'll have one timeout left. It's third down and a yard for the first down. 11th play of this drive coming up. Three-man front defensively. Drive back to pass. He unloads it. Number oh, I got it the touchdown. Has it. That's okay. Because I actually know they're going to go for an offsets kick. So, but yeah, like I say, I got this game pretty much sealed and put away. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is UCLA 14, Oregon 28. UCLA is lining up for the onside kick here with the onside kick. They were really hoping to get the ball back there. Well, now they have to call on their defense to make something happen. They need a big play right here to get that ball. Back. Nope. I'm just going to put in victory, victory formation. The Bruins line up at a 3-4. The defense calls a timeout, and that was their last timeout. Yo, don't do anything silly. You got this one in the bag. You need just take one knee here. 4-3 defense. coming up here. Ball right around midfield. 
UCLA. Lines up with five defensive backs. And that'll do it. There's the final gun, and this game is history. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? No excuses in this one, Brad. We saw a good game where one team just outplayed the other. Oregon played a good physical game out there. And not only that, they played a smart game, too. These are smart college kids and really make some good, smart decisions out there. I like this football team. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2003. And once again, our final score in this one, Oregon 28, UCLA 14. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Kirkstreet signing off. So long, everybody. Okay, I'll go ahead and show the fields off here. So... So, no problem. Usually they try to come back, but they ran out of time. Because that pick six did the game. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, so here's the fields. I won't see them. I'll just go through them. Because you can read them. Great teams come to die.
Now that one has the largest in, 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 in attendance. 106, 837, that's a lot. <laughs> Nine five thousand, that's pretty big. And a two thousand is huge too. Okay, here's the Army and Navy Stadium. These are ones that we didn't see in the last game, or we knew this game. In in Besco Field at Mile High, Alltail Stadium, home to Florida and Georgia game. Cotton Bowl, OU in Texas. And there's the Alamo Dome for the Alamo Bowl. Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium. Citrus Bowl, Cotton Bowl, Sun Devils S S S Stadium for the Fiesta Bowl, Alltail Stadium for the Gator Bowl, the, the GMAC Bowl, Aloha S Stadium for the Y Bowl, Qualicom Stadium for the Holiday Bowl, then Brilliant Stadium I I hope I said that right. For the Houston Bowl, the Broncos Stadium for the Human Mediterranean Bowl, which is on blue turf. The um, Independence Stadium for the Independence Bowl, Inside.com Bowl, Motor City Bowl, how that Ford Ford Field, M Music City Bowl, Sam Boyd Stadium for the Nevada Bowl, Louisiana Superdome for the New Orleans Bowl, Pro Players. Stadium for the Orange Bowl, the Outback Bowl, the Georgia Dome, Erickson Sorry guys, well you know, for the Queen City Bowl. See, sometimes I can say it and sometimes I can't. I don't know what's wrong with me on that. Then there's Rose Bowl, San Francisco Bowl, Seahawks. Stadium for the Seattle Bowl, Spartan Stadium for the Silicon Valley Bowl. Hope I said it right. <laughs> the Louisiana Superdome for the Sugar Bowl, Sun Bowl, Tangerine Bowl, E8 Sports Stadium held in Redwood City, California. There's a Tiburon Stadium held in Maitland, Florida. And that's it. All right, guys. Sorry. Okay, guys, let's get ready for the second game. Austin Stadium is brimming with excitement as the fans are ready for the start of this one. And it's going to be a cold afternoon for this game between the Arizona State Sun Devils and the Oregon Ducks. And here come the Ducks. Welcome, everybody. 
Bobby Brandesler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. The Sun Devils appear to be completely overmatched in this one. What do you think, Kirk? Well, I think you're right. I think this one's going to be a blowout. Arizona State has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Well, Lee, in my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. Kirk, I agree with you 100%. Oregon has a huge advantage in one particular area, the running game. Kirk, look for them to run the ball 40 to 50 times in this game and absolutely demolish and demoralize this defense. Big win in this one. Thanks, guys. Let's head down to the field. The two teams are lined up for the coin toss. I'll just kick it. Yeah, guys, this game, Oregon lost by three. This game, they should have won. So that's why I'm playing it. And plus, this is the closest loss of the season. So, here we go. Oregon lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Well, plus, that was a high uh, it's, it's scoring it's game, too. There's only it's ASU won it 45-42, so. Spins up field. Let's change history here. <laughs> They'll start this drive at the 22. Yeah, as you were the go yellow pants in this. Oregon so, because they have two, uh, well, well uh, two type of, yeah, of uh, uniforms. With a takedown at the 38. A good pickup that time. Yeah, and one of the things that can really open up this offense is their ability to complete these types of medium range passes. You're right, that and the ability to run the ball consistently. All right. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. They come out of the nickel. Hugh brings him down at the 46-yard line. An eight-yard gain. Second and two. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Ducks. Line up in a nickelback. Back to pass. Rolls to the left. He unloads it. And okay, dropped it. Falling incomplete. How about that hit? Yo, that was a heck of a defensive play. He timed that thing perfectly. Third and two. Almost had a sack, too. They come out of a nickel. Here's a pitch left side. And he won't get it. Nothing doing. Tackle for a loss on the play. That's a loss of about three. I was afraid he's going to break it. <laughs> Fourth down and five. Ball on the 43-yard okay. line. Well, I held him. Wasn't a three and out, though, but held him, though. The return man. Smith takes it at the 23. And he gets just a little on the return. That time the coverage just had too much speed. They were all over. Yeah, good downfield pursuit there. They'll get the ball here at the 23-yard line. Oregon lines up with three receivers. He drops back. Looks. He's on the run. And oh, it falls incomplete. They got some good pressure on him there. Yeah, but don't forget the fact that nobody was open. That was good coverage, too. Second and ten. Well, there was some people open, but, but actually I didn't see him, though. It's, I mean, it's kind of hard to uh, find your Smith open receivers. Here. Number 39 with a takedown at the 26-yard line. Three yards there on the play. In this situation, you got to throw the ball to your best receiver. They're down at seven, ball on the 26. Oregon in a five-wide set. Drops back to pass. Looking, steps up in the pocket. Guns it. Got it. The middle. Number 30 First down. brings it down at the 47-yard line. Oh, my, that long game gives them a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. The Ducks come out of the ace formation. Smith, the ball carrier, gets past the tackler. 
And the first down again. A fantastic run by the tailback. This defense has got to get back to the basics. Just a simple counterplay, and they were not ready. Why not coach him? Just getting overpowered right now. I mean, just take a flop. It looks, I mean, it looks kind of brutal. I want it here. If you can run the ball successfully, that passing game will open nicely. Schmidt, blow to the backfield. Number 12, is in the middle. Number 30, with a takedown at the 42-yard line. Nothing gained on the play. I tell my quarterback to look off the safety, throw it downfield. Second and 10, ball on the 42-yard line. Mm, Number boy, 12, I like to look. The line with three wide. Back to pass. He's looking. He fires left side. Oh, we had it. Good Shoot. Up on that one. The wideout unable to catch that pass. Let's look at that one again. Yeah, he had it. He just let it go. That's a bunch of yards to go for a first down there. I just throw the ball down the field. Eh, maybe you'll get lucky. Arizona State brings in their nickel package. Number 12 drops back. He rolls left. Got it. Willis has it. Tackle at the point. They convert on third and long, guys. Well, the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that round, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. Find and drop it. I like running here in this situation. It's a safer play. First and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Just this long he double. doesn't... Line up in a I'm not saying... <laughs> On the ground, left side. Out of bounds at the 12. About eight yards there. You just got to make sure that you're gaining positive yardage on a run because you're almost there. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 12. The Ducks line up in an eye formation. They'll bring him down at the eight-yard line. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really nice read. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. He drops back. He's hit and got away. Oh. Throws it out there. Oh. And they're going to rule him out of bounds. Oh, he was close. When you're in the red zone, you're real close. That would be nice if that would have kept it. That would have tackle and got the score. The touchdown right here. The Ducks go with the eye formation. They run a counter. Bounces off the way. Touchdown. And it pays off. Nice. Scamper, guys. I got a, a, a point on the board first. This guy has to be one happy individual right now. Just like at the UCLA game, which uh, happened in the second quarter, but yeah. <laughs> and he tacks it on the extra point. Less than two to go in our first quarter of play. The score, Oregon. Seven. Arizona State, nothing. Oregon is ready to kick it away. Number four, and number 32, back to return. Kicks it off. Number 32, fields it in the end zone. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. Sun Devil. Line up with three wide. There's the play face. I got it. First down. At the 31 yard line. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. First and ten, ball on their own 31. The Ducks line up at a nickel back, drops back to pass, steps up, rifles it over the middle, and it's caught. Dixon brings him down at the 40. Looked like he was covered, but still came up with a catch. Second and one, ball on their own 40. The Ducks bring in the nickel package. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Let's it go. Too in much on it. Pass. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 40-yard line. 
they're going to run it, so that's why I'm having my blitzes here. Oh, got it. Tackle at the 41 yard line. And the defense got burned on the blitz that time. Yeah, I did. Right, it's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Oregon lines up with five defensive backs. Number eight drops to throw. There's a penalty on the play. Holding. Let's fly. Incomplete. Yep. First in a mile, ball right around midfield. The Sun Devils go with the eye formation, number 44 on the give. Getting up on that. 94 with a takedown at the 49 yard line. He plows ahead for a two yard gain. Oh, well, well, still. Second and long. He'll be in the first quarter here. This is the sixth play of this drive. There it is. be the end of the first quarter with our score Oregon 7, Arizona State nothing. Now the teams have switched sides and we're ready for the start of the second quarter. It's second down and a long ways to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Number three lines up as a single back. Number eight, back to pass. He lets it go. Intercepted. Nice interception. And the wow, he died a really for that. Nice play on the ball to grab the interception. This guy's got potential. I'll tell you what, if he keeps it up, you might see him playing on Sundays. That was, the misdirection counter. That was a nice interception by Dixon. That was awesome. 10, ball on the 39. Smith lines up in the deep back. I formation. Smith runs the counter. Number one brings him down at the 42. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. A team that can run the ball has the best chance of winning. So I try to establish the run here. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Back to pass. Looks. He guns it to the left. Oh, he didn't he hang on to it. For this play to work, everybody has got to do their job. you got to have the blockers blocking. The receiver's running good routes, and the quarterback making the right reads. The Ducks come out of the two tight end set, looking. He scrambled. He wants it all, going long. Got it. Howard got it. Nailed it. At the 18 yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to oh, play. Oh, he's injured. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver injured. is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. I like running here in this situation. Just a cramp. It's a safer play. First and ten. They're inside the 20. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. And they make the stop at the 17-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. When you're this close to scoring a touchdown, I'm telling my guys to hold on to the football. It's second down and nine to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. Number 12, the three wide receiver. Oh, he read that one all the way. Lose yards on this one. Good play there by the defensive end to wrap him up for a loss. It's a big down right here. you got to throw in this situation. Pretty much. <laughs> right down, 15. This is the seventh play of this drive. Hmm. They come out in a nickel. Number 12, back to throw. He's looking. He throws it. Got it. Number 30. Right brings it down. Not enough for the first throw. Nice pass, but not enough for the first down. And that's going to bring up four. Know, yeah, nah, I'm not going to. Kids, but when you don't convert the first down... It's not as nice as you'd like. They're going to go for the easy three here. Yeah, just, I don't want to risk it. The kick is up. And it sails right. Oh, man. Shoot. I thought I hit it. Oh, well. They'll go to work at the 20. State lines up with three receivers. Rifles this one out to the left. To the Crap. 40. And down he goes at the 46. 
That play looked like it could have gone the distance. Let me tell you, they were very fortunate that that one wasn't taken in for the score. They had a guy coming on the blitz that time, and that quarterback read this play perfectly and ate him up. It's first and ten, ball on the 46-yard line. Nickel defense drops back to pass. Number three, right. he's on to it. Loss of a yard. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on their own 45. Maybe I, sh maybe I should have went for it on the last one. Line up at a nickel back. There's a play fake. He passes it. And that oh, one's fallen incomplete. The wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on their own 45. The Sun Devil. Line up at a split back set. Here comes the pressure. Fires a pull. Oh, man. Shoot. Down at the 29. They get a nice game there. Yeah, nice pass play. You know what, Kurt? I think that defense kind of underestimated the speed of that receiver that time. Yes, very good observation out of you, my friend. It's going to be interesting to see how they adjust here. Number eight drops back. He unloads it. They'll wrestle They're going to lose yards tonight. Loss of about six. That was a, that was a big loss. Second and long coming up here. Sixth play of this drive coming up. The Ducks bring in the nickel package. He drops back. He's under pressure. Throws it out there. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. About six yards on the play. Here we go again. Third and ten. Ball on the 29. Well, they probably have to go for it if they don't convert here. Number eight comes to the line with three wide. Oh, shit, I missed him. Oh, he got it, diving catch. The Sun Devils call for a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Missed the quarterback, too. I was running in. Well, I don't know if, well, I, don't know if I would have got in time anyways, but... State calls a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. Defense lines up, eight men in the box. Here's a counterplay. Just game game. Tackles him for a loss on the play. Good penetration by the defense. Here we go again. <laughs> third downs have not been my favorite. Because I like calling the third down curse. Because it always happens to me a lot. Intercepted, yes. The Need that. Now has two interceptions in the ball game. And that's two more than the quarterback wanted to throw. Now he's got to go back out there and play smarter football when the offense takes the field again. Yeah, You're I'm going to play smart. Quarterback has to be able to put that down in his mind. Well, because I got a half. Which one? First or second interception? I think both. Number 12. Oh, look at that opening there. Oh, he got nailed on that one. And the fullback comes up with a nice run. This is just strength on strength right here. They give it to the fullback, and he powers his way for some good yardage and another first down. Here's a good opportunity to see who your playmakers are. First and ten, ball on the 18. The Ducks line up with five receivers. Looks, lets it fly. Oh, he had it. It's incomplete. That would have been a spectacular catch if he'd held on. I like throwing the ball here. It makes the defense think they have to stop the run and or the pass. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 18. Smith is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Looking. He's going to try and scramble. He fights. Oh, man. Incomplete. Oof, the receiver time. couldn't catch up to that ball. No, he couldn't. And I'll tell you what. The quarterback was conscious of the blitz that time by the defense. That may have been the reason that he overthrew the football. Third down and 10 coming up. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Nickel defense. Back to pass. 
He's looking. Rolling out to the right side. He lets it go. Well, he won't get it. Shoot. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. They line up to put this one away. Number 38 hunts it, and it's a good one. Number four fields it for 37. And he gets very little there. The coverage was almost perfect on that play. They'll start this drive at the 37-yard line. Four wide. Number eight steps back to pass. Under pressure. And it falls incomplete. There was a lot of pressure on the quarterback there. Yeah, he had to get rid of it in a hurry, and that's why his pass was off. Second and ten, ball on the 37. The Ducks line up at a nickelback. He drops back. He's in trouble. He throws it. Number 89 with a catch. The Sun Devils are going to take a timeout, and now they've got no timeouts left. Third and four, ball on the 43-yard line. Until it's a Hail Mary time for them. Arizona State comes to the line with three wide. Number eight, back to pass. He passes it, complete, and down he goes at the 47. A nice pass play there. Let me tell you, the reason why this play worked was the fact that the defense didn't do a good job of no, not getting the receiver off his route. You gotta jam him at the line and throw their timing off. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made. I think they had one more first down than I have. Kicks it off. Schmidt takes it to the six. That was a he nice little cut. Field, got a few blocks, and they were able to come up with a decent return. The coverage team was a little tentative out there. You want to see guys flying the ball. Right there, they were just kind of hovering around. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. Arizona State lines up defensively in a 3-4. Oh, they got me. 55 brings him down for a loss. The defense made sure he went nowhere on that run. Well, guys, when you have so many people bunched into one place, it makes it really difficult to find an opening to run to. Second down at 12. Ball on the 39. Mm. Defense lines up at a 4-3. Drop back to pass. He rifles it to the left. Oh, he almost had it. Shoot. It away. Nearly intercepted that time. Yeah, it was. On the last play, you see the defense do a good job of playing coverage, and a quarterback telegraphed his pass the whole way. Oregon comes out with five receivers. Number 12, back to throw. Rolls right. Fires across the Got it. Number 15 makes a catch. First down. At the 49 yard line. They convert a third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. 4 3 defense. They hand it off. He's First down, and a little bit more. And he's hammered down. A defense, it's all about instincts. It didn't look like their instincts worked too well on that play. <laughs> You're right, Lee. There was a lot of running room there. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Arizona State going to the three-man front. They hand it off. And they make the stop at the 29. They pick up a good six yards there. They got to pound it and pound it inside until the defense calls for mercy here. The Sun Devil line up at a 4 3. Number 12. Gets down. Up the middle. Number 1 brings him down at the 24 yard run. Four, maybe five yards on the run. I'd spread the ball around here. Keep that defense on their toes. It's first and 10. Seventh play of this drive coming up. They're lining up in the 5 2. Back to pass. Now he's scrambling. Deep pass. Open. To the left side. And he's tackled at the two. Not a bad play there. Not at all. This was almost a touchdown there. Plays like this, allowing them to spread the ball around. This offense is going to be tough to stop. Here's another look, coach. Yo, check out this pass. Yeah, pressure on me, too. <laughs> sees an open man right there and just zips it to him. Good pass. Nice catch, too. Right 
right here, guys. It's just us versus them. And the team with more will and determination and drive is going to come out on top. The Ducks line up in a goal line. Uh oh, play that flag. Ah, nuts. I just let the players go out there and have some fun here. It's first and goal. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. The Sun Devils put four men up front. And he's taken down at the seven-yard line. He rumbles ahead and picks up about five. What's interesting is that you think it's easier when you get close to your opponent's end zone. Not so fast, my friend. It is actually harder to move the ball because the defense has the same number of guys in a smaller field to play with. Looks, he unloads it. Got it, touchdown. To the end zone, touchdown. That was nice. And that play ever developed nicely. All about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. First and ten, ball on their own twenty. A, a lot of time in that drive. <laughs> Number three, alone in the backfield. He drops back. Here comes the pressure. He's scrambling. Throws it away. And he just gets rid of it. How about that defensive call? I love this call because you don't want the quarterback to get too comfortable back there. He'll tear you up. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 21. The Sun Devil with four receivers. Number eight drops back to pass. Oh, I had him. There we go. And they get the sack. <laughs> He couldn't avoid the sack there, Cole. Yeah, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. Third down and 12. Ball on their own 19. The Ducks line up in a nickelback. Uh oh, something happened. Offsides on somebody. Third down and 7 coming up here. Ball in 24. I don't know how I moved first, but I must have. Drop back and pass. Throws it out there. Intercepted right in my hands. Interception number three for this defense, and they got to be happy about that. No kidding. What's interesting is that you think it's easier when you get close to your opponent's end zone. Not so fast, my friend. It is actually harder to move the ball because the defense has the same number of guys in a smaller field to play with. Number 30 with a takedown at the two. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. Sometimes it's harder to score this close to the end zone because the defense is all bunched up there. You just got to find the defense's weakness. Looks like they're going to try to power this one in. And got it. I bought three touchdowns now. Well, they did that far to go on that one. So, Brett, when you get inside the five-yard line, you have to rely on the offensive line and great execution. That's exactly what they did right there. Five feet, took it in, which I hope that that's how it announces the last name of the quarterback. <laughs> he wasn't that good, mostly. And he hits the field. 
That's like a memory really well. <laughs> Take a knee. It's first and ten, ball the twenty. Number eight with three wide receivers. Oh, uh, that's probably me. Oh, no, it's the offense. Okay. I thought it was me. Now, ball on their own 15. The Sun Devil come out of the two tight end set. They're on a counter. Miller tackles it for a loss on the play. Well, the offensive line needs to do a better job up front of opening the hole for the running back. Second and long, ball on their own 14. The Ducks line up with six defensive backs. Number eight drops back. Let's it go. Oh, he caught on the tip. Has it. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards. Well, this wide receiver is definitely having a solid game. He's getting his yards, but more importantly, he's moving the chains for first down. Arizona State lines up with three receivers. He's looking for his man. And down he goes. At the 45-yard line. Nice little catch there, huh, Coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like that call. I like short passes. They're safe and can lead to some really good yardage. The second down and three to go. Ball on the 45. Pro formation here. Back to pass. And they hit him in the backfield. Three-yard loss there. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Oregon 21. Arizona State, nothing. And we're ready for the start of the fourth quarter. Third and six. Ball right around midfield. There's time still for you to come back. The Sun Devil with four receivers. Drops back to pass. He steps up, guns it across the middle. Oh, I got it. Hangs on to it. Ball on the 18. They come out with four linebackers. Number three, the ball carrier, Mitchell, brings him down for a loss. Instead of running around the defenders, he ran right into them. I don't think it mattered if he ran left or right or over the top. They just lost the battle up front. Second and 11 coming up. This is the seventh play of this drive. Gray comes to the line with three wide. Number eight off the fake. Let's it fly. And it's knocked down. The defense comes up with a nice play that time. Third and 11, ball of the 19-yard line. They're going to go for a fourth down. Eight in the box. Number eight, back to pass. He's under pressure, rifles it over the middle, nope. and they couldn't hook up on that one. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. The Sun Devil line up with three wide. Number eight drops the throw, steps up in the pocket. He lets it go, and it nope. falls incomplete. Nope, they didn't get it. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, they had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left. And you got to put it all on the line. A team that can run the ball has the best chance of winning. So I try to establish the run here. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Brought down at the 21. A yard, maybe two on the carry. As a coach, you got to be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 21. Schmidt lines up in a deep back. High formation. Oh, crap. Number 97 comes away with a sack. 
how do they get so much pressure on that play? Well, the reason is simple. The D-line just beat the O-line off the snap. Easy. Oregon in a five-wide set. Number 12 drops back to pass. Looking, he throws it. Oh, he had it. He dropped it. The wideout had a shot at that one, but couldn't quite come up with a catch. Let me tell you, that would have been a tough catch to make. Nice defensive effort. Number 38 to put this one away. Number 38 punts it, and it's a good one. Number four fields it for 39, and he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the Cutler's team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. Well, and actually, he wasn't really open. There was guys around him. Number eight has four receivers lined up here. Number eight drops back. He unloads it. And it's knocked down. The corner almost came up with a big turnover there. Well, the corner's able to bat this ball away, but he'd love another opportunity there to make the catch. They're not going to like to hear me say this, but that's one of the reasons why they're on defense not playing offense. Number three lines up as a single back. Back to pass. Throws it out there. You get it. Bats it down. And they do a good job in swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. Right. Fourth and ten coming up. Ball have to. 21. The Sun Devil. Come out showing three wide. Drop back to back. Let's it go. Webster, and didn't get it. Away. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. The Ducks come to the line with their jumbo package. Here's the tackler. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Nine-yard pickup. I call a play like this to make sure that there's no chance that this kid's going to run out of bounds and stop the clock. The Ducks come out in a two tight end set. Number 12 gets up the middle. Number 58 brings him down at the 30 yard line. And that'll be a first down as they try to run that clock down. First and 10, ball on the 30 yard line. Arizona State comes out in a 4 3. Number 39 with a takedown at the 27. And they continue to pound it out on the ground. Tick, right. tick, tick. Continue to milk that clock. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Oregon sets up in the eye. Smith hits it on the inside. Let's Number down. 39 brings him down at the 17-yard line. And they move the chains once again. And that's what they need. Move the chains and keep the other team from getting their hands on the football. Right. It's first and ten. They're in the red zone. Sun Devil. Line up in a 4 3. Jets that one. He's looking. Hey. Caught. Number 49 with a takedown at the 10. They complete that play action pass. Good for seven yards. You know what? This is a good position to be in. You got the lead. You got the ball. And all you got to do is run the clock out. Congratulations. <laughs> the defense sets up with five defensive linemen. Try to milk as much time as possible. I'd run the ball here. Just pick up the first down, move the sticks, and continue to move the football. Oregon lines up in a goal line set. And it off. 
First down. Number 99 brings him down at the six-yard line. So they get just enough to move the sticks. Brad, they didn't get much, but I'm sure they'll be happy to see that nice little one on the down marker instead of that big, ugly four. What I would do here is to give the fullback the ball and just let him, boom, straight up the gut. Hmm. Oregon sets up in the eye. Touchdown. Yeah, nice. How do you like that? They give it to the fullback. I like that. I like that a lot. That's a good call around the goal line. And there's no way that he's just going to stop that guy. He's just going to get in the end zone no matter what. He was determined. This is revenge from that three-point loss. And boy, I'm making him pay for it, am I? <laughs> Intercepted, I'll do it. Make that the fourth interception on the day for this defense. I said it before, and I'll say it again. This secondary is one of the best in the United States. No doubt about it. They're very athletic, and they're also well coached. The Sun Devil with four men up front. Number 39 with a takedown at the 24 yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And that's game. What a blowout and shutout. And this ball game's over. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I think we all expected this one to be a blowout. Oregon is a much better football team, and they proved it in this game. They were coming out expecting to dominate on defense, and that's exactly what they did. Anything less than a shutout would have been below par. And we thank you kindly for taking part in NCAA Football 2003. Our final score in this game, Oregon 28, Arizona State nothing. For Lee Corso, Kirk Street, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time. All right, let's get ready for the third game. Seattle Bowl for what looks to be an exciting college football game. We've got some cold weather, so get your blood pumping for tonight's game between the Wake Forest Demon Deacons and the Oregon Ducks. And here come the Ducks. Welcome, everyone. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Herbstreet, and the coach, Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. The Ducks come out like they're just going to roll over this team. What do you think about that, Herbie? Well, I think you're right. I think this one's going to be a blow. Wake Forest has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Well, Lee, in my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. Forget about it. Wake Forest is not going to be able to slow down this rushing attack, and I'm going to tell you why. That defensive line is going to get dominated up front, Kirk, and they're going to lose this one big. Thanks, guys. Should be an exciting game. Now let's get down to midfield where they're ready for the coin toss. 
at the Seattle Bowl. I remember this game. There were some calls that actually did not go Oregon's way. So there we go. Oregon is ready to open this. And plus they lost they this game too. So let's uh, rewrite history, shall we? Kicks it off. Number 30 fields it in the end zone. Get the ball here at the 20. The Demon Deacon come out short three wide. He drops back, lets it fly, and it's knocked down. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Yeah, the, yeah, the uh, Demon Deacons were actually wearing gold gold pants, but for some reason Wait I can't get the them. Gun. On here on this uh, certain bowl game, so I don't know why. Anyway, I'll just play anyways. On the oh man, missed him. And down he goes at the 27 yard line. So the old draw play gets him a good seven yards. We get third and three here. Ball on the 27 yard line. Oregon lines up defensively the three four. They'll run the option. Oh, we got a first down. And they make the stop at the 36 yard line. And they get a nice gain on third down. Remember, we talked to the coach. He mentioned that he wanted to run the ball against this defense. And he felt that he may have some success. Well, they've had some success on that one. First and ten. Ball on their own 36. Oregon going to the three-man front. Number 11. Hands off on the delay. Brought down at the 37-yard line. He picks up a yard on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 37. The Ducks come out in the 34 defense. Drops back to pass. Number 80 with a catch. Martin brings him down. Oh, got a guy three. injured. Yeah, we got an injured player on the field. Third down and three coming up. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Ducks line up in a 3-4. And they get it. With a takedown. Tell them. Three yard line. Didn't get anything. Fourth down and three. Ball on the 43 yard line. It's fourth down. And the punt team lines up. Smith fields it at the 22. Oh. A good return. It was. I've run it here. If you can run the ball successfully, that passing game will open nicely. They'll go to work at the 34. Smith is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Number 12 drops to throw. He's looking. He's rolling right. Guns it across the middle. Got it. Complete. Number 22 brings it down. Oh. Now he's hurt. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Ah, uh, rub some dirt on it, kid. Get back in the game where you belong. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Ball on the 36. <laughs> The Ducks go with the eye formation. On the ground, right side. He's oh. at the 30, number 22, with a take. I wouldn't have gone there if I didn't bring the last tackle. That was a nice run. Boy, he did a nice job of keeping his feet moving. Good, solid run. I run the misdirection counter. Play with the defense a little. It's first and ten. Ball on the oh, he's out of the game. Wake Forest lines up defensively to 4 3. Get past the oh. tackler. Tackle at the 16. Had, a, the game had an opening there. there. When you're in the red zone, it's harder to spread out the defense because there's not a lot of room. But depending on the play, you can find some holes in the deep. The Ducks line up with two tight ends. Number 12, back to throw. Looking. Fires a bullet out to the right. Oh, crap. Away. That was wrong timing. Coach, made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. This is not an easy conversion, folks. I run the ball here and maybe catch the defense off guard. The Demon Deacon. Line up with a 4 3. Smith, the ball carrier. And I got the first. Number 54. I make some moves. <laughs> the 10 yard line. And he gets the first down. That guy just went pow and took it in. He wasn't stopping until he got that first and ten. Wake Forest lines up defensively in a 3-4. Back to pass. Looks. Rifles it right 
Oh crap. Incomplete. That one could have been a huge play, guys. Well, the quarterback had a wide open receiver. He needs to be able to make that throw. He better regroup and get ready for that next play. Oregon comes out with an eye formation. They aim it off. Well. Number 14 with a takedown uh, at the two. Okay, I'm gonna How many? I'll tell you what, I give the fullback a chance to score right here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give my ball. I'm gonna hit first on the board. Trying to find that end zone here. And I got it. Out of the eye formation. Well, he didn't have far to go on that one. Brett, when you get inside the five yard line, you have to rely on the offensive line and great execution. That's exactly what they did right there. Yep, they won't take a knee. The guys did a nice job of staying in their lanes and playing their assignments. Yeah, I would have stayed in the end zone on that one. Did you see how those kids were flying down there? <laughs> First and ten. <laughs> Fifteen. The Demon Deacon. Come out showing three wide. It's left. They'll throw the flag. They'll uh, wrestle him down to the backfield. Ah, uh, you... That was a face mask. He just hit him in the chest. Second and five coming up here. Ball in the 20. Oregon going with a three-man front. And he's tackled at the 24. So the option play to the fullback's good for about four yards. Third one coming up on this play. Ball on the 24. Number 18 lines up in the deep back. High formation. Number 11 drops back. He throws it. Number 18. He didn't get it. And he's stopped behind the line. That'll be a loss of one. Hold him again. Fourth and two. Ball on the 23. And there's Seattle back there. So they're set to bump this one away. Yeah, this is... Central League Field, as now, but it wasn't called Central League Field. Beautiful, beautiful coverage. Very well covered all around. As a quarterback, you got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. Three wideouts here. Number 12, step back to pass. He's looking. He's scrambling. Going deep. Got it. And it's caught. Brought down on the 38 yard line. A nice pass play there. Let me tell you, the reason why this play worked was the fact that the defense didn't do a good job of knocking the wide receiver off his roof. They got to jam him at the line and throw their timing off. I tell my quarterback to look off the safety, throw it downfield. First and ten, ball on the 38-yard line. The Demon Deacon, use a four-man front here, rolls right, he unloads it. Got it. Number 26, makes a catch. Kirby, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, but what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. It's first and ten, ball on the 23-yard line. The Ducks line up with two tight ends. Looking. He's looking for his man. Got it. Number 81. Hangs on. I'm just moving the ball with no problem. Well, that was a big-time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. We are ready to start quarter number two. I let my offensive line make a statement here with a touchdown run. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. He's got it. A touchdown. And let the quarterback take it in the end zone for six. I don't think the defense let him take it in. They just couldn't stop. Mm -hmm. Here's the replay of the touchdown. I, mean, I gotta say that UCLA's game was the closest so far. So far, that is. Because uh, Wake Forest can come back still. 
And he tacks on the extra point. So it's just under five minutes remaining in the second quarter. The score, Oregon, 14. Wait for it. Nothing. Oregon to kick this one off. Number 84 and number 30 deep to return. And they'll be returning this one. Number 84 fields it at the three. Take over at the 19. Oregon comes out in the 3 4. Number 11 options out. Finals back. He lost the fumble, and that's and mine. Tackle at the 18 yard line. And a costly fumble right there, guys. I love the option, but it is a little risky. This fumble is a perfect example. But Kirk, you can't forget. The option can be unstoppable when run properly. They were just a little unlucky there. They're lining up in the 5-2. Number 12, back to pass. And oh, it's incomplete. Too much on it. What's interesting is that you think it's easier when you get close to your opponent's end zone. Not so fast, my friend. It is actually harder to move the ball because the defense has the same number of guys in a smaller field to play with. He drops back. He scrambled. He lets it go. Touchdown. How about that one, Lee? That no problem. Exactly what you love to see as a coach. Great communication between the quarterback and his receiver. And the results? Six. A touchdown. His, his foot was in. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Five wide. Back to pass. 
He's looking. He's rolling left. Oh, crap. Number 12 is going to be sacked for a loss. Boy, they got some major heat on the quarterback that time. Well, that's the whole goal of the defense. They're going to attack him by bringing multiple looks and blitzing from the linebackers in the secondary to try to confuse him. He drops back. Oh, they get it. Away. So they go three and out after that incompletion. Here it is again. No question. You gotta punt this one away. Fourth down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. They send out the punting unit. Number 84 calls for the fair catch. Better. He hauls it in at the 11 yard line. here at the 11 yard line the demon deacon come out the shotgun and he's taken down at the 13 yard line the draw play gets maybe two yards Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 13. Three-man front defensively. Number 11 drops the throw. Steps up. He passes it. Incomplete pass. There was a lot of pressure on the quarterback there. Yeah, he had to get rid of him in a hurry, and that's why his pass was off. Third down and eight to go. Ball of the 13. Defense lines up at a 3-4. Drops back to pass. Gives a little bump fake. Fires across the middle. Graham bats it down. That brings up a punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. Right, it's fourth and eight. Ball of the 13. They line up and put this one away. Smith fields it to 44. He almost broke it there. Like you said, Coach, one more block, and that could have been six. I take it to the ground on this one. you got to be able to run to win ball games. The Demon Deacon. Line up at a 3-4. On the ground, up the middle. Yeah. Number 46 brings him down. Much on it. Instead of running around the defenders, he ran right into them. I don't think it mattered if he ran left or right or over the top. They just lost the battle up front. 4-3 defense. Back to pass. Looking. Rolls to the left. Got it. With one hand. That's a nice six yard game. In this situation, you've got to throw the ball to your best receiver. Third and five, ball of the 29. Oregon in a five-wide set. He drops back. Looks, rolls to the right, rifles this one out to the left. Got it. Complete. Number 10 with a takedown at the 11. Not a bad play there. Not at all. If this wideout can continue to make plays like this, allowing them to spread the ball around, this offense is going to be tough to stop. When you're inside your opponent's 20, you can play it safe or you can go for it all. I let my quarterback throw for a touchdown here. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Rifles it over the middle. Tackle at the two. And a nice catch by the wideout that time. I'll tell you what. I give the fullback a chance to score right here. Let's see if they can punch this one in. Yep. And he's got the touchdown. That's a big hole. He's in two touchdowns on the ground so far today. It's a huge play. That's no blowout. He can work the fullback into a game plan like they have today. Oregon 
for the kickoff. Number 84 and number 30 back ready to return. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Number 84 gives it in the end zone. They'll go to work at the 21. The Ducks come out in a 34 defense. Must have Number 44 it. tips it away, and that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Second and ten, ball on their own 21. Wake Forest comes out with an eye formation. Number 11 drops back to that. Number 89 with a catch. That'll be a game of three yards. That is going to run up for staff, which I don't mind that one bit. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. And we've reached halftime here. The score is over. Break. <laughs> 28. Wait for it. Nothing. Wait for it. Look at that. 757 to 41. That's bad. Kicks it off. Talk about revenge from, from the Bull, Seattle Bowl. Webster fields it at the seven. I've learned here, if you can run the ball successfully, the passing game will open nicely. Wake Forest lines up defensively in a 3-4. Drops back to pass. Looks. Fires a bullet over the middle. Oh, crud. Batted away. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Second and ten, ball on the 29-yard line. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Number 12 gets up the middle, brought down at the 31. The draw play gets maybe two yards. It's a big down right here. You've got to throw in this situation. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 31. Smith, alone in the backfield. Back to pass. He's looking. Rolling out to the right side. He guns it to the Got right. Got it. Complete. They'll bring him down at the 44. A huge game by the tailback. I'll tell you what. We've talked about this all year long. Teams running this West Coast type of offense. They spread the ball around to the tight ends and the backs. Here's an example of how it's so hard to defend a team that likes to distribute the football. I agree with you 100%. You can't really key on any one guy. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Number 12 gives up the middle. The oh no! Let's got it back up, anyways. <laughs> Got a hard hit, kind of forced the fumble. Right there. Yikes! That was a close one. Good yeah, thing well, that kid was paying attention and fell on the football. Yeah, that should have been. I take it to the ground on this one. You got to be able to run to win ball games. First and ten, ball on the 24. Ace backfield. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Looking. Let's it fly. It. And it's caught. The touchdown. Ball. Touchdown, Ducks. So the tight end comes down with a big touchdown grab. That touchdown pass worth seeing again. Ah, you betcha. He runs a good turn out there, and the quarterback throws it to him with a lot of confidence. Good touchdown, guys. Okay, I'm going to put in my second unit here. And he hits the PAT. 
So with less than four minutes to go in the third quarter, the score is... Okay, hold on. Okay. Looks like I can't. No, I can't. Okay. Oregon to kick this one off. Number 84 and number 30 back deep to return. He kicks it. Number 84 fields it in the end zone. Makes the move. First and ten, ball on the 17-yard line. Oregon going to the three-man front. Number five takes a handoff, and they got him for a loss. The defensive line was just too overpowering and didn't give the running back much of a chance there. Second and 11, coming up, ball on the 16. Three-man front defensively. Drops back to pass. He lobs it right side. Complete. And he's taken down at the 18. That'll be a two-yard gain. The Ducks line up in a 3 4. Number 11 back to throw. He throws it. He got it. To the 40. He finally goes down at the 44 yard line. And it's the tailback with a big catch. Boy, I like this call right here. The one thing that I've noticed is how this defense sometimes forgets about the running backs as receivers. Here, they got burned for a big play. It's first and ten, ball on the 44-yard line. Wake Forest comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Tries to shoot, brought down at the 41. That's a three-yard pickup. Second and seven coming up here. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Three-man front defensively. Got him. And he stopped behind the line. He didn't really have a chance on that play. Boy, guys, how about the defense on this play? They sniffed that play out from the start. It's third down and nine to go. This is the, the farthest uh, Wake Forest has been all game. <laughs> well, I mean, downfield, that is. Number 11 flies up in the shotgun. And nope. The, way. the corner almost came up with a big turn over there. Well, the corner's able to bat this ball away, but he'd love another opportunity there to make the catch. They're not going to like to hear me say this, but that's one of the reasons why they're on defense and not playing offense. The Demon Deacon are lining up the punt and away. Didn't get all of that one. Schmidt fields it at the 19. He couldn't make anything happen on that front return. Yeah, well, there wasn't much he could do in a situation like that. There were just too many tacklers around him. They'll take over at the 19-yard line. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Number 12 hands off on the delay. 
Number 93 brings him down for a loss, and he couldn't go anywhere on that run. Now, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. Smith lines up as a single back. Smith on the inside handoff, and they make the stop at the 19. That'll be a two-yard game. What I like about this play is that as a quarterback, you have some options as to where you can go with the ball to get the first down. Wake Forest lines up in a dive defense here. Number 12, drops back. Looks. He fires left side. Number 20. Got it. First down. Has it. Number 20 brings him down at the 29 yard line. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. I'd run it down to the throats here. Nothing too special. First and 10. Ball on their own 29. Defense lines up. Eight men in the box. Eight to the 40. Still going. And I'm gone. <laughs> How about that power? How about that power run? How many tackles I broke here? Okay, just a second. Let's take a look at that. Okay. There's a couple right there. Still breaking it. I was in the pack. Now yeah, just kind of, just kind of came out of the pack right, right there. That's what happened. And I was just, look at that. Nobody hardly on me. <laughs> How about that run? Weird, but I'll take it. And this is major revenge for major revenge for Wake Forest from the Seattle Bowl. Second left? Yep. Wake Forest lines up with a shotgun set. He drops back. He steps up. And they and could it. up on that one. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. They've switched sides, and these teams are all set to start the fourth and final quarter. So it's second and ten. Ball on the point. The Ducks. You guys are probably thinking, thank goodness. <laughs> Blow out. That's a pass. The pressure. And you got it. Up, oh, she had tackle. First down. And down he goes at the 36 yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. It's first and 10, ball of their own 36. Number 11, back of the gun. He lets it go. And it's knocked down. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this quarterback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. So it's second and ten. Ball of their own 36. Number 18, alone in the backfield. Incomplete. The wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. Third and ten. This is the fifth play of this run. Three wide outs here. Number 11 drops back to pass. He passes it. No, oh, God. First down. Makes the catch. Not a bad play there. Not at all. And if this wide out can continue to make plays like this, allowing them to spread the ball around, this offense is going to be tough to stop. They're bringing their dive package. They'll run the option. They'll bring him down at the 47 yard line. Couldn't get anything out of that. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. Oregon 
Comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Number 11 drops the throw. Throws it out there. Number 18 hangs on to it. Seven yards there. It's third down and three to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Ducks line up with six defensive backs. Number 11 back to throw. And he can't hang oh, on to get it. it. Fourth down and three. Ball on the 46. to try to convert here. I have to. Number 11, step back to pass. Throws, well, we got it. Brought down at the 40. And that fourth down pass results in a first down. Yep, and that's what I call good play call. When it works, it's good. When it doesn't, it's bad. Simple. As you would know, you got it. Yeah, that's the parts that they've been down for all game. Oregon <laughs> lines up in a dive defense here. Number 15 with a catch. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. Wake Forest comes out with an eye formation. Number 18 on the give. Miller tackles it for a loss on the play. Nowhere to go on that play. Boy, you're absolutely right, Brad. This is a great job by the defense in not giving him any room to create anything. It's third down and a yard for the first down. This is the 12th play of this drive. The Demon Deacon come to the line with their jumbo package. They aim it off. Q with a takedown at the 30. Just a hair short of the first down line. Fourth and inches coming up here. Ball on the 30. Do or die time. Well, it's dying. Well, it's, the game's pretty much dead right now. I got it. Mitchell brings him down at the 28 yard line. Two yard carry by the fullback. First and 10. This is the 14th play of this drive. Comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Well, how about that, man? And they hit him in the backfield. And they stop him on the option. Well, that's a nice job here by the defender of getting into the backfield, breaking that player. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 31. The defense lines up with six DBs. He drops back. He lobs it out to the right, and it's caught, and they got him for a loss. They're stopped two yards behind the line. It's third down at 15 to go, ball on the 33. Wake Forest lines up with a shotgun set. Drops back. He unloads it. It falls incomplete. Same pass play. Good defense that time. Fourth and 15 coming up. Ball on the 33 yard line. Wake Forest in a four wide set. Back to back. He's looking. He's looking for his man. Got it. 21. Has it. And they finally tackle him at the three. How about that play? Well, this is a great play. And this is a play that we saw them practice all week. Yeah, this is an area where the coach had felt they might have some success. When this defense blitzes like they do here, that leaves them in some one-on-one -on -one situations. They took advantage of it right here. Sets up in the eye. Number 11 pitches out to the right. And he stopped behind the line. Well, he just couldn't get much of anything there. No, Brad, he couldn't. And I think the offensive line's going to have to... And that'll be game. ...longer than they did on that play. 
Thank goodness this one in, didn't it? <laughs> and this blowout is finally over. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? You know, this one was a total mismatch. Oregon came in huge favorites, and they walked away with the lopsided victory. Sometimes it's difficult to get a team up against a weaker opponent like this. But the coaching staff did a nice job preparing for this game and motivating their team. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2003. We hope you join us again. Our final score, Oregon 42. Wait for it. Nothing. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone. Uh, okay, guys. I'm going to show two special videos on, on, on here. Well, I mean... One special video and then one uh, special game. And after that, more NASCAR 2005, two special cup by the top mode. And after that, NCAA Football 2004. I'll be back with those games.